iron deficiency and low blood anemia. Diagnosing Anemia In this video, you will discover how anemia is diagnosed. You will see how different blood tests are used to diagnose anemia, such as ESR, iron serum, ferritin, and transferrin. It is not always easy to detect anemia, so many additional tests have been developed over time. You will also discover how hemoglobin electrophoresis is used in testing for different types of hemoglobin. Blood counters. Generally, anemia is identified and detected through a complete blood count. Using modern counters, the number and size of red blood cells and hemoglobin levels can be determined and recorded. This type of diagnosis can determine the cause or type of anemia. A microscope inspection of a blood smear is also helpful in diagnosis. When determining the cause of anemia proves difficult, as when the cause is not apparent or unapparent, other tests can be performed. ESR, it is a nonspecific test used to diagnose conditions associated with cancers, infections, inflammation, and autoimmune diseases. Although this test does not tell where the inflammation is, or what is causing it, ESR can be used in conditions like anemia, in conjunction with other tests. Through the ESR test, doctors have a better understanding of what disease they are dealing with. Ferritin, an iron blood test, is deemed the most specific in detecting iron deficiency anemia unless inflammation or infections are present. Using ferritin blood tests will indicate the levels of hemoglobin, iron, and red blood cells, among others. In his book, Optimum Sports Nutrition, 1993, Dr. Michael Colgan points out, one of the best marathon runners of all time had a serious iron deficiency. The problem had not shown up in any blood test used by Salazar's Medicos because they were relying on the wrong tests, serum iron, and hemoglobin. These tests are still wrongly used today by thousands of physicians to diagnose iron deficiency, an iron deficiency expert phoned Salazar's coach, the great Bill Dellinger, and suggested he test serum ferritin, an accurate measure of iron stores. The test showed near zero iron, B vitamins, vitamin B12 deficiency occurs less frequently than iron. Vitamin B12 is generally not caused by a dietary deficiency of vitamin B12. Instead, this disorder is commonly caused by pernicious anemia, a condition in which the body ceases to produce an intrinsic factor essential for the body to absorb vitamin B12 from the diet. Vitamin B12 deficiency causes nerve problems, accompanied by numbness, and tingling of the hands and feet. Here, hemoglobin levels are low, but the red blood cells are abnormally large. Folic acid Folic acid deficiency is similar to vitamin B12 deficiency. This disorder can cause specific changes in hemoglobin and red blood cell indices. Usually, folic acid can be found in green leafy vegetables. In the US, folic acid is added in most grain products, hence, its deficiency is rarely the case. However, there is an increased risk of folic acid deficiency during pregnancy in women. This condition is especially dangerous since folic acid is essential for the growth and development of the baby. Diminished folic acid levels can cause adverse effects on the baby's brain and spinal cord. Pregnant women need to take folic acid supplements. Serum iron, this medical test measures the amount of iron circulating in the body bound to transferrin. The serum iron test is primarily used when doctors are concerned about the likelihood of an iron deficiency in their patients. The liver produces transferrin. When released, it binds with the iron ions. Transferrin is necessary if the stored iron is used or stored by the body. Serum iron test uses the drawn blood from the veins to measure the iron attached to transferrin and circulating in the body. Transferrin, this test comes in many names. Formally, it is known as the transferrin saturation test, or transferrin, for short. It is also known as iron binding capacity test, IBC, total iron binding capacity test, TIBC, and serum iron binding capacity test. Transferring test is frequently used alongside the serum iron test to identify the likelihood of iron deficiency or overload. This test calculates the transferring saturation. In iron deficient people, the transferrin saturation is low since iron levels are also low. In iron overload, 
the iron level is high, but the Type C is low or average. In effect, the transferring saturation will increase. Here, an unsaturated iron binding capacity test, UIBC, will be conducted instead of Type C. When the patient has problems with his liver, likely, his transferring levels will also be low. It is customary to test for transferrin, instead of Type C or YBC, when evaluating a patient's nutritional status or liver function. Because it is made in the liver, transferrin will be low in patients with liver disease. Transferrin levels also drop when there is not enough protein in the diet so that this test can monitor nutrition. When a person suffers from an iron deficiency or overload, a Type BC or YBC is ordered. More tests may also be ordered if symptoms of anemia are present. RBC folate level. Folic acid blood testing helps monitor the presence of central nervous system disorders. Also, this test helps physicians diagnose anemia. Many consider RBC folate level testing more reliable compared to serum iron testing. Serum vitamin B12. As its name implies, this test is used to measure the vitamin B12 level in the blood. Accordingly, it is used to assess vitamin deficiency, which may be caused by inadequate dietary intake or absorption problems. Hemoglobin electrophoresis. This test is used to check the different types of hemoglobin present in the blood. Hemoglobin is the substance that transports oxygen throughout the body. The common types of normal hemoglobin are hemoglobin F, fetal hemoglobin. This is usually found in newborns and even in fetuses. Hemoglobin A, adult hemoglobin. It is commonly found in adults. This type replaces hemoglobin F right after the birth of the child. Hemoglobin A2 is usually found in small amounts in adults. A2 is the normal type of hemoglobin. The hemoglobin electrophoresis test separates the normal hemoglobin from the abnormal types found in the blood. Abnormal hemoglobin may be an indication of a disease. Accordingly, this test helps diagnose the likelihood of anemia. Renal function. This test is used to assess the kidney's excretory function, since the amount of liquid filtered out by the circulating blood is processed by your kidneys. Summary and final thoughts. There you have it. Different types of anemia can be diagnosed using a variety of tests. Each test has its purpose and can narrow down the anemia that you might have. We covered the tests, blood counters, ESR tests, ferritin iron blood tests, serum iron test, transferrin, hemoglobin electrophoresis. Let's go on to the next video.